We took this coconut and placed it in this bucket of water so that we could sprout it and grow a coconut plant. Well, this is the story of what happened. We placed the coconut in the water for 24 hours, added a little plate on top so the coconut would stay submerged. I had to try with a couple of plates. I had to get the sizing right. The bigger the better. And when I tell you 24 hours never took so long, I say it because I was so excited to grow a coconut. And if you're new here, you might not know, but we actually got a sprout. This indeed is a success story. I couldn't believe it, but this story is far from over. Well, after 24 hours, the day passed and we removed our soaked coconut from that bucket of water, got a damp baggie and placed the coconut right inside. I made sure the eyes were facing down, I sealed it up, and a few weeks finally passed. I thought 24 hours was long. A few weeks was like an eternity. Anywho, as I was waiting for those few weeks to pass, I realized that the coconut floats in water because it has milk inside of it. You need this milky goodness in order for the sprout to grow. Make sure it's got that liquid, that good soup. But finally, a few weeks passed. I went to check on our coconut to find something special. A baby sprout was emerging from the coconut. I took it out of the bag to examine it to make sure that it was actually a sprout because at this point I wasn't even really sure. I thought maybe three sprouts would emerge from each eye, but I guess only one sprouts out. But of course, I'm still learning as I went along this process. It was pretty gooey and it felt really weird, but I made the final call that this was indeed a sprout. I have no idea how coconuts grow, but as I put the coconut back in its baggy home, I I realized that coconuts are just seeds. They've got eyes, tails, and the stem grows out of the eyes, the roots grow out of the tail. And apparently it's hard to grow coconuts that have the husk removed, but we try what is difficult. The fool does think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. Anywho, had to keep it damp. The coconut was looking great. It wasn't growing that much, but it wasn't shrinking either. So in my humble opinion, we were killing it at this point. I kept spritzing it religiously with water but y'all the sprout was very slow to emerge more and more each week and by now it was about five or six weeks that had passed prime summer days passing by and i went to check on it to see that our coconut was literally gone as you know we have a rodent problem and this coconut absolutely did us dirty because y'all know those dang squirrels came and well ate it as upset as I was, I got a new coconut. It's all trial and error. <coughs> you should know that by now. I'm really sorry. But we got a new one and we did the same thing. We placed it in a baggie and we waited for the sprout and hear ye, hear ye. Some weeks passed and we sprouted a second one. And just wait, cause you're about to see that sprout and it grew bigger this time than the last. Of course, I religiously spritzed it with water to keep the co cocoa damp every three days. If you're doing this at home, you'll probably become a religious spritzer like me. And you're probably thinking, Oh, my lady grew a coconut plant. Well, a few weeks passed and we found ourselves a sprout. Be not afraid of greatness. I was so excited because I've been trying to grow coconuts for many years and it finally worked. And the difference was that I had a lot more sun. It also did look kind of gross. I wasn't really sure what was going on over here. This one was a little less gooey than the other one, the sprout. So I was thinking, well, maybe we should place it in soil. But I figured I'll keep it in the baggie for a little bit longer so that it can grow a little bit more because at this point last year it was around August and it was starting to get a little wee bit colder in Canada so I knew that we would have to bring it inside soon had to be prepared for the better or for the worse I'm married to these plants just so you know well guys I went to check on it and I saw the little sprout had fallen out of the coconut oh my I didn't know what to do at this point I sat down and thought okay it's been three months of this and even though we know it's all trial and error we have to be a coconut plant parent well, this is what the coconut had looked like and it looked like it could potentially be sprouted inside So I was like, okay, either we continue to try and regrow this sprout or it's time to open up this thing and eat the sprouted marshmallowy goodness inside of the coconut and here's where you can actually eat your sprouted coconut too Because if you break it open, there's gonna be a white marshmallowy surprise in the middle We love surprises or you can grow it into a house plant like us or both But if you don't know what a sprouted coconut is as you watch me truly truly struggle to open this, I promise I learned how to actually open a coconut for real by using the back end of the knife and banging it in the middle rather than a ratchet scenery from Maury Povich over here. But <laughs> sprouted coconuts happen when the coconut sprouts inside and develops this marshmallowy goodness that you can consume and it tastes very, very good. And you can't buy that from the grocery store, especially in Canada. But clearly I learned the hard way that it takes a lot bigger of a sprout for this coconut to have a marshmallow inside. And so I was basically 
out of luck here. But you know what I had to do? I got another coconut to try sprouting it into a plant and of course to grow the sprouted marshmallowy goodness inside. I never give up, you guys. I even bought two more coconuts, tried the experiments all over again, but this time I also planted one straight in soil because I was truly determined to grow a coconut truly plant determined. and sprout the inside so that I could eat it. Inside. Well, just to let you know, it never worked with these. <laughs> the best bet to grow a coconut plant, especially if you're doing it at home, is the initial way of submerging it in water, placing it in a baggie, waiting for the sprout to go, and then planting it in soil once the sprout comes, and do that before it falls out. <laughs> and you need a lot of sun. So, at this point, I was a bit sad, sure, but realized, okay, it's fine, summer's here in a month, so we're gonna try again, and until then, I got a water coconut. I wanted to see if I could open it, drink the juice, eat the mushy insides, because there are many different types of coconuts that are shipped to stores in three stages. The young coconut, the medium young white coconut, and the brown husked coconut filled with sweet milky liquid, it's great for cooking, the young one. <laughs> but clearly, this was a journey and a half. It's clear that this coconut has me in a chokehold and it's not letting me go until we successfully grow a full plant and not this half sprout shit. But we did learn so much about growing coconuts, like how to actually sprout them to grow a plant, what a sprouted coconut is with the marshmallowy goodness inside, how to open a coconut pretty easily, how to deter squirrels and rodents from the garden, and so much more that really is just proof in the pudding that it's all trial and error and we should try what's difficult so y'all you know with me it is always a wild ride even though we didn't have a sprouted coconut and i was really confused of course we're gonna get a new coconut and try growing it again so thank you for joining me on this wild ride and until next week where we take cool fruits and try to grow it and fail many times but then we have a cool experiment and usually it does work so <laughs> thank you so much for coming along don't forget to follow don't forget to subscribe and know that I love you.